let's get into the video. Please subscribe. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Janae. I thought I would just go ahead and check in with y'all and tell you what's going on with me right now. So if you watch my other videos, you would know that I am an alcoholic and an addict in recovery. I have been sober from hard drugs for two and a half years. And I have been sober off of alcohol for seven and a half months. So right now I just got done completing treatment that's exciting for me. Tonight, I look forward to going to try out another women's support group meeting and see how that goes. So I'm really like pushing myself to, to get out there and really just make my recovery the center of everything. Um, I know that if I build my recovery on a solid foundation, it's likely to last. Right now, I suppose what I'm dealing with that's hard for me is I have a teenage runaway daughter. That is probably the hardest thing I'm dealing with. I literally had to just give that to God because it was just way too heavy for me. So I have hopes that she hits her bottom sooner rather than later and she comes back to me and I'm able to help her, lead her in the right direction. The best thing I could do is just stay sober and lead by example and show her how to take care of yourself, how to be spiritually fit, how to be mentally fit, all those things. I basically am unemployed right now <laughs> and I eventually will be employed and that is in God's timing and I'm just waiting for my life to kind of organically take me in that direction. I know that like completing my treatment and getting myself on the right track was like the first thing to do before I could like really be of use in society. Um, anything that I put in front of my recovery, I'm going to lose. So right now I'm really focused on my recovery. I really thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really encourages me to keep making this kind of content. My purpose here is to inspire people to also live a more healthy lifestyle. I basically record little snippets of my life and the healthy things that I do, um, my healthy eating habits, and things that I do that I can sustain. And it, it encourages me. It does. It does encourage me. So by you following me, it helps me want to share. And it just gives me a little hobby to do that just keeps me focused on my recovery. And anything to like, you know, help me focus on my recovery really, really helps. I'm just an average girl that has basically been through hell and back. I grew up a hard life and I'm trying to make this life not hard anymore. I've always made it hard on myself and now I'm gonna look at my life in a different light and I'm gonna make my life fun for myself. So I would love for you to follow me, subscribe, Again, <laughs> and I suppose let's get into a day in my life.
Right here, I am making some butternut squash. I freaking love butternut squash, you guys. I used to not like it, but I totally like it now. And my taste buds have totally changed since I have been eating more healthy and not consuming sugar. I also like to compost my leftovers, which is really good for when I garden this summer. I love this food so much i can't even tell you guys but here it is all cut up and right here i have some steak fat and i am going to cook this butternut squash in some steak fat which is delicious and i am totally for fat so um pro steak fat makes your food so much better and i'm just gonna fry this this up and it's gonna be delicious i really enjoy cooking my food from scratch put some seasonings on it make it so it's nice and toasty brown on one side and flip it so good here i'm putting some bell peppers in the oven to soften a little bit and this is so good. I cooked up some sausage and put cheese and sausage in this cooked bell pepper and then put it back in the oven right here. I didn't eat that pizza, by the way, but I put this in the oven and oh my gosh, it's probably one of my new faves. So I had the butternut squash and this sausage cheesy bell pepper for dinner. And I'm not even kidding. I was in love. This is probably one of my new favorite things. So delicious.